Activists take to the streets in a walk against drug abuse and gun violence after one of the most violent weekends on record. Mayor Jim Kenney decided to join them. Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Lands was on that walk. She's live in South Philadelphia with the story. Shantae. Yeah, Joe, there have been 155 homicides so far this year in this city. The homicide rate is up 6%, and for those reasons, Mayor Jim Kenney decided to join that group on their walk. Hello, my man. How are you? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Y'all doing okay? It starts with a handshake. The Philadelphia Anti-Drug, Anti-Violence Network teamed up with Philadelphia police once again to hit the streets, this time near 64th and Woodline Avenue in West Philly during the first weekend of the summer. The goal is to prevent respondent in violence and drug abuse among youth and families across the city. George Mosey is the executive director. They're what we call credible messengers because they're people who grew up in neighborhoods like this. And for that reason, uh, they have some built-in credibility. It's easy for them to establish a rapport. Shootings are up 3% and homicides rose more than 6% so far this year. The recent spike in homicides motivated Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney to join the walk. We've been having an uptick in violence, an uptick in homicides. Obviously, it's been, it's been very, very depressing and frustrating. Uh, and I want to make sure that they understand that we have their back and we want to make sure that people in, in this community and other communities know that the government cares about what's going on and wants to try to stop it and then reverse this trend. This week, a 20-year-old man was shot and killed on the 1400 block of North Allison Street in West Philly. The group focuses on community crisis intervention by offering youth job training and educational opportunities. 19-year-old Jeremiah Edwards is one of them. He's a barber trainee on Woodlawn Avenue in West Philly. From, from my point of view, I mean, I've seen, that, I seen help. You know I mean? He was trying to help me, so I figured that he tried to help everybody else. And the group started their weekly walks last August. They walk Thursday through Sunday, every Thursday through Sunday, from evenings to overnight and early mornings. But starting just a few weeks on July 1st, they'll start walking during the day. Reporting live in Philadelphia, Shantae Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Shantae, thanks. More than